This is an exercise on operational amplifiers for 25 marks. It says, in the op-amp circuit in figure 2 below, this one, all resistances are given in kilo-ohms. Part A says, assume there is no saturation, knowing that the voltages Vs1 and Vs2 depend on your stu number, this voltage Vs1 and this voltage Vs2, Vs1 is 5 plus H volts and Vs2 is 7 plus G volts. Where G and H are these two last digits of your two number. Assuming there is no saturation, determine what is the output of voltage of the whole combination, this voltage here. Let's solve that part. As we are assuming that there is no saturation, Vp equal to Vn in the three amplifiers. So this one is connected to zero, this is connected to zero, etc., etc., etc. We observe that this part of the circuit is actually an inverter amplifier with a gain that is negative 50 divided by 25, that is negative 2, whatever voltage we apply at Vs1 will be inverted and duplicated and put here and the output of this amplifier. Let's assume that H and G are zero in our case. That means that this voltage here will be 5 volts. We apply 5 volts here. The gain is negative 2. The voltage here is negative 10 volts. But that negative 10 volts now is input to this other amplifier. The voltage apply here is 7 volts. This 50 kilo ohm resistor is sending us on a wild goose chase because there is no current in this assumed ideal amplifier, so the voltage right here, 7 volts, is the same voltage Vp. There are 7 volts here. Because we are assuming this is a non-saturated amplifier and there is negative feedback, the voltage here is also 7 volts, so this voltage is 7 volts. The current here is 0 amps. That means that this current and this current are both the same one. And the resistors are the same, so the voltage drop between this node and this node is the same as this one and this one over here. So this node is 17 volts higher than this one. So this one here would be 17 volts higher than 7, that is 24 volts. This is the voltage here, 24 volts. And now the current here is 0 amps, because this is an ideal amplifier. That means that these two resistors constitute a voltage divider of V0 between 100 and 50, and this voltage will be V0, the total voltage multiplied by 50 and divided by 100 plus 50, 150. This would be one-third of that voltage. But this voltage here, because there is negative feedback and we're assuming there is no saturation, is also 24 volts, from which we deduce that the output voltage is 3 times 24, which is 72 volts. Thank you very much.